Wait, can you hear me? Oh, your mic's muted. Bolsonaro supporters are breaking into government buildings in Brazil. Nice. Yo. Holy shit, what's up? Yeah, how you doing, Doug? Been a fucking while. I see nothing's changed with you, although it's like trying to get a fucking audience with the Pope these days, homie. Mm. No, you're just way too shy. You just have to ask you to hop on, dude. I let anyone on this motherfucker these days, okay? Yo, well, so, like, uh, I, I, I saw you on, on uh, stream the other day. You were kind of like saying, um, you know, like, why, why is it he hasn't sort of dropped by? And it's like, dude, you're surrounded by fucking crazy people these days. Like, what the fuck, man? Hasn't it always kind of been like that, though? Isn't this world nah, always uh, like... like this, brother? <laughs> fuck me, dude. I've, I, I was going to do a whole bit when I came on the stream, right? So, listen, I'm going to rustle some paper, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, so I was gonna, what I did was I was gonna say, you know when you have like uh, what's it called like interventions or whatever the fuck you like you write down like oh a no list way, of I'm really you have to those. apologize like for six of them at this point don't worry yeah what about it yeah right, so anyway I, I wrote down this I said Stephen if we're gonna be friends again you have to apologize for the following things one because of you Hassan is now the number one <laughs> political streamer on Twitch and is winning awards for news two. Because of you, I now know who Vosh is, and he appears to me to be a sexually aggressive anarcho-communist who wants to seize the means of reproduction. Three, you turned Keffels into a media darling. Four, I also now know who Mr. Girl is, and I am afraid. If you can apologize for all of those things, brother, I think we can be pals again. I think we can, like... Okay, well, listen. Hassan was a mistake, okay? Have you... Have you read, uh, is it Mary Scheller? Was she the one who wrote Frankenstein? Yeah, Mary Scheller, yeah. Yeah, that was my, that was my Frankenstein. Um, but I, I did the sequel, uh, and Vosh was also another Frankenstein. Uh, I apologize for both yeah. of those, I'm sorry. Mr. Okay. Girl, I'm not gonna apologize for, okay? That was some good-ass yeah, no, content. It's... It was crazy, but don't tell me you weren't glued to the edge of your seat, you know? This motherfucker could have shown up at somebody's house and well, killed them at any point in time, okay? That's some exciting shit. And still shit, mate, by right? the way. Like, and still fucking mate, by the way. He's on a Kiwi Farms thread right fucking now looking up your shit, I, I reckon. Oh, he might be. But, uh, listen, I mean, so I watched, um, to get ready for, like, talking to you again, I wanted to see who, like, the Orbiters were, who all the big characters were in, like, season 30 of Destiny, you know? Not as good as the early seasons, but you still get the odd solid episode, you know? Oh, yeah. So I was watching watching like fucking i was what i watched like a three and a half hour debate and i think it, it was like called uh bridge finally burnt with mr girl right <laughs> okay <laughs> or some or some shit like that you know it was yeah. on um you've got a channel like tonight tonight on destiny Last or whatever destiny. The fuck. Yeah. yeah yeah that's the thing right mm -hmm. and i watched the whole fucking thing in bed <laughs> okay. by yeah. the way like which by like trust me i was fucking suicidal by the end like what the fuck am i doing with my life yeah. you know but like dude like come on you would have, you would have, you would have fucking just got rid of this guy. You would have, you would have, he, man, he, he's not like the people you used to associate with back okay. in the day. Okay, you know? here's, I'm going to tell you something, okay? You just made this yeah. click in my head, okay? I'm going to, okay. here's something that you all do that I just don't understand, but I think I do do it in another way, okay? Here mm -hmm. we go. This is how we're going to relate to each other, okay? Okay, cool. I'm down. Okay, I masturbate a lot. I watch a lot of porn, okay? Mm -hmm. But I've heard this thing that guys say where they're like, normal porn doesn't do it for me anymore. I gotta keep up in the ante. I need to watch the craziest, nasty shit. I have, I have never, that, yeah. I've never felt that way in my entire life. Most of the shit I watch is still really vanilla. You know, blowjobs, mm. fucking, maybe some orgy shit, but like it's pretty, it's pretty vanilla. Like 99% of the shit I watch, I've never understood that need to escalate, okay? I've never been able to relate mm. to people on that level, okay? But. Yeah, I get it, yeah. When it comes to friendships and people. <laughs> when it comes to people, okay. Yeah, all right. All right. I talk to a lot of people, a lot of normal people, yeah. but when you talk to crazy people, that's some, it's just another world of wild shit. And you know, once you've talked to one crazy person, it's not enough, you know? Like I need yeah. the next craziest person. And that's kind of what the, um, it's kind of what the past like few years of my stream has just been crazy person after crazier person after crazy person. And that's that's where I'm at in my life, you know? So I just ask for a little bit of empathy there. Yeah, but it's like, bro, I mean, you know, you, you're at that age now where it's like, I mean, the one thing I will say I, I appreciate is the way you've inverted all of this bullshit, uh, 
fake streamer relationships, right? I really appreciate that. Because obviously there are so many people in your orbit that are like just fucking glorified leeches. They'll just never admit it to themselves, you know. It was like, I, I think a large part of like what I picked up on on that three and a half hour thing was basically Mr. Girl fucking hated himself because he had been essentially leeching off you and everything bad that was happening to him as a result of your community turning on him and you and him not vibing it quite as much as you used to. It was all self-inflicted because he just wa he wanted to be another Hassan. He wanted to be another Vosh, like somebody that essentially launched a career off off you. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you know, it was. It's like, I know it, it blows my mind that like people out there, like probably not your audience so much, but like loads of people who like post on live stream fails and shit. They genuinely believe there's like sustainable friendships among influencers. When of course influencers stand for absolutely nothing at all <laughs> like they just stand for views clicks like fucking i want to be number one i want to be the most popular and even when they hang out with other influencers they're all thinking like you know oh i'm below this person so this has to be a collab but when i'm above this person i'll literally smash them and you know like fuck me dude it's like a it's a gross way to live so at least i appreciate you've kind of inverted that trend a little bit you know yeah, I mean, listen, I don't mind people. I, like, I'll be really blatant about it. Like, if anybody wants to, like, leech off me or do that, I don't really care as long as I'm, like, as long as I feel entertained at the same time. Like, there's a lot of careers and stuff that I kickstart and launch, um, and I don't regret it. Like, even, like, Vosh or Hassan, like, it was, it's not like, um, like, when they were here, it was fun, you know, everybody mm. leaves, and then it's whatever. But that's okay, you know, as long as we have fun in the meantime, I'm okay with it. Yeah. How's YouTube treating you, bro? Um, Really, 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 really well. Yeah, it looks like it was a fucking a blessing in disguise. Because let me tell you, I'm still over on Twitch. It is not a fucking adult platform at all in terms of what you can and can't talk about, what the parameters of sensible discussion are, you mm -hmm. know. Like, I, 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 feel, I feel I'm pretty vanilla and tame in the things I talk about. But I still feel I'm like massively like walking on eggshells over there. Meanwhile, I mean, I love Chud Logic, by the way. I, I followed this shit for a while. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I immediately tune into your stream because like I had a podcast canceled. That, that podcast where we like LARP as the saviors of esports. Yeah. It got canceled tonight. And I'm like watching it. And I'm like, he's just talking about fucking dogs. And he's going to be on a panel. I don't even know how you get to a point in your life where you're on a panel talking about dog fucking sure. like, I'm almost envious. Like, fair enough, mate. But, you know, it's like none of this can happen in a Twitch world yeah it's you know? kind of scary i'll say that like youtube goes really 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 hard on some things but it's pretty obvious what they go hard on so it's like um like vaccine stuff covid stuff election stuff yeah. and like january 6th shit in the united states as long as you stay away from those topics you're pretty like i think some people even still use like the f slur and shit over here and it's like not a big deal like i've heard it happen on channels where people don't mm. seem to care that I much put out face clan <laughs> um i was thinking of the, some of the red pokemon but um yeah no yeah so the um yeah so yeah it's generally it's a bit more chill like the moderation over here is still done mainly by like bots and shit um whereas like on twitch i think it's like a lot more right. ideologically driven but yeah definitely is i mean i said as much when you got banned it was like um you know, which is ironic as someone that at one point tried to have you banned. The irony's not lost on us, Stephen, don't worry. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, we've all been there. <laughs> I shit. Yeah, we've all climbed the walls, man. Like, like, uh, like the one thing I'll say about you is you're very good at driving people to the point of insanity where they're no longer themselves. <laughs> I yeah. am. I'm good. I'm, I have that yeah. special talent. I do it with women a lot, too. Don't worry, you know? I was, do I was doing that stupid thing where you conflate members of the community with the streamer at you know uh -huh. themselves i mean i don't necessarily blame you like we all did it because i'm pretty sure yeah. i probably called you i think i called you a white supremacist or some shit at some point too you know it's all water you know, under the bridge what are you gonna do that, that really hurt in like 2016 <laughs> or 2017 whatever it was but i've been called it so many times now it's just like oh whatever you know like fucking yeah. you know it just is what it is sure but um yeah so i mean anyway you know i i, I think uh it was, it was basically a blessing in disguise honestly to get off that platform and you're right it definitely is ideologically driven mm -hmm. um in terms of like the type of discourse that happens over there now like i look at the top political twitch streamers and i just despair and you know they've got the nerve to say they care about like misinformation on the platform and it's like if a guy repeats like an msnbc headline uncritically it's probably misinformation it's just like it's okay if it goes in one direction no one's really doing any fact checking on twitch there's no news on twitch right there's no like news channels or equivalent of that mm -hmm. it's like really sad it's really sad because it could be something much better than it is and it just isn't yeah but i mean it kind of that's just yeah I think that's kind of where we're at where a lot of like online media today, right? Like look at the- um, Yeah, true. I, I mentioned this earlier, I complained about like for Andrew Tate stuff, I have to like, um, I don't know, we're saying Andrew Tate, I hate the guy with every fiber of my being, I think it's horrible, but like- 
dude, I called this a mile off. Like, I had the tight cells, as I call them, coming oh, after sure. me. Like, uh, because I said in April, you know, we went and, like, took a Carlson, and he, like, lied about, um, he said, oh, I just got swatted when he got arrested the first time. Mm -hmm. And I was doing another podcast at the time, and I said, uh, he's lying about being swatted. This is an ongoing investigation. You can check this with the Romanian government. He's being investigated for human trafficking. And loads of people were like, you haven't even done any research. Call yourself a journalist. And like, who's right now, dickhead? Yeah. Fuck all the tear cells. Fuck them all. Sure. What a pack of losers. They make K-pop fans <laughs> seem normal. Yeah, true. Um, but I mean, like, you, you heard, like, the... You saw the thing on Joe Rogan that went viral about, like, how they were putting kitty litter boxes in schools or whatever, and it ended up being, like... Oh, what an embarrassment for Joe Rogan. Yeah. Like, what a meat and it ended up being completely that. fake. But then, like, on the left, we do this shit where it's like oh my god like the reason why romania was able to figure out where andrew tate was is because of the pizza box from greta's tweet and it's like no also they've been bullshit yeah they've been investigating this guy since fucking april you really think that they needed a pizza box to figure out where the fuck this guy was like come on dude. Like, yeah. like they've got some romanian equivalent of like hercule Poirot over there was so close to cracking the case yeah and, and then, then he sees the pizza box and it's like that's just one thing yeah it's yeah. just stupid you, you want to get away with it tate yeah, yeah if it wasn't for that you. darn greta in her pizza box yeah. bait uh, the, you know, this is what I mean about like discourse these days. I think you and me probably where we fucked up, and I, I don't mean like just in terms of our relationship, but like uh, just in general, the culture war when it was kind of kicking off in like twenty. I mean, obviously twenty fourteen is where it sort of has its roots, but twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen, it gets amplified because it gets like forced through the prism of american politics which is super significant all of a sudden mm -hmm. with the rise of trump and everything i think where we fucked up was you know I, i'm speaking for myself i don't know if you feel the same but it felt it felt significant and important and what i realized when i spent some time out of it and i got to look at it all it's just absurd and childish and sort of without wanting to sound like a centrist because i know hassan hates those uh, you know, it, 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 both sides were just patently ridiculous. It was like, it was super cringe to be like an ESJW. It was also like super cringe to be like chasing around like imaginary fascists and Nazis and LARPing like you were the fucking resistance and all this other. It's like, I look back on that time and I just think, man, why the fuck did I engage with any of that bullshit? Like, I, I'm smarter than that, you know? I think one of the things that I've realized as of recently that took me longer than it should have was um, your political beliefs have very little to do with who you are as a person. Um, and I think for a long time, I kind of like, you know, conservatives will have a certain type of personality. Uh, liberals will have a certain type of personality or left leaning people in it. will have a certain type of personality. Yeah. Um, but the, it really doesn't like your, your political leanings really have just no impact on how you treat other people or how you are as a person. And it took me a long time to realize that. Um, and I think realizing that we're all kind of like, the same uh, and so we're all like prone to like the same stupid shit uh has kind of helped yep. me like center myself a bit when it comes to analyzing things like misinformation and all this stuff so yeah but yeah yeah and and you know it's like i don't know dude i mean like there was some there was some people who were really like they pushed all their chips into the fucking middle of the table you know what i mean i mean they really went all in on this shit and it's like i always felt like profoundly sad when i saw people go off the deep end because it wasn't just that the culture war drove everyone insane and then trump being elected drove everyone insane mm -hmm. we then segue into the fucking pandemic and now everyone's isolated <laughs> and cooped up and it just turbocharged the fucking Bro, madness to like the degree. pandemic cooked everybody's fucking brain yeah, Shit for will, real, dude. yeah holy for real. fuck yeah, I, 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 like, I, it was really sad because I was watching people like that I really liked, like not just like, you know, not just like people I like, content creators and writers and journalists and these people, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm talking like personal people, people I worked with in esports and all this stuff, and I was just watching them one by one fall like fucking dominoes. Like, well, he's insane now. Never talk to that person again. <laughs> They've gone. <sighs> they're out there. Yeah, and they never. And, and you know, and people still haven't come back from that shit. No. It's fucking sad. I remember for me, like I remember joking like four or five years ago. I have like normie checks. Like there was this one girl that I knew in um in California that I hung up with a ton. It was super cool. And like I could ask her, like, like do you know what a tanky is? Be like, I don't know what the fuck any of this shit is. Um, and like yeah. I, and I have like normie friends to keep me grounded. Um, and as time went on, um, in the early parts of the pandemic, I started to notice like, do you know who Sean King is? Oh, mate, dude. Well, I was, I was, I, I probably shouldn't say this because it's going to turn the stream weird, but I was actually working at Breitbart when, when, when he we, was at, when we, when, gotcha. no, when we, when we did the Talcum X story. I yeah, worked okay, on okay, that. gotcha. Yeah, Talcum X. Yeah. yeah. I like, he started showing up like in her Instagram feed and I was like, oh no. And then we would have like a couple of conversations and, uh, and I'm like, I'm, we used to, I, dude, I was like, 
friends, we hooked up for probably like the better part of like, I wanna say like a year, like we were really close, we chatted, it was like super cool, and I'm blocked now on her Instagram, I don't even know why she blocked me, oh, and I'm like, no. oh, it's probably because she's seen some of my content, and now she's like super, super, super far left, but um, yeah, like seeing like even some of my normie friends fall into like that crazy like shit from the online stuff, it's just like, yeah, it was, it was more, it was different like five years ago, because it would be like, oh, this is just Twitter, this is just Twitter, this is just Twitter, it's not real life. But like now, now Twitter is real life. <laughs> Unironically, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, it, it's weird. I don't know what happened. There was a period, I say it again, it was somewhere between 2014 and 2016. I couldn't pinpoint it, but suddenly Twitter went from being just another forum where you shit posted to being like a window into your soul. Mm -hmm. Like where your tweets were a reflection of the real you. And it was like so contrary to what every other forum is. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think the issue is that like all the Twitter crazy stuff stayed and it was there, but the problem is that like it, it is all online, but more and more people continue to move online. And that's just what happened. Mm. Like everybody started to move online. And so like, of course, even if it's still only online, like it's gonna be um, like, it's gonna start to impact the real world because everybody's moving online, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you know, it, it, it's like, it's been tough because like, listen, by the way, uh, you were 100% right. I should, me and you, we should have run away together. We should have got married and run away together and done that podcast, that politics podcast. Oh, I should have yeah. quit esports. You know, what was it you said? I wanted to call it fuck your face with facts, which was Jesus which, Christ, yeah, way, maybe, yeah. That, that, I never wanted to call it that, but it would be a great name for a podcast. We should have totally done it because esports is garbage, man. It's like, it's totally dead. It's just full of thieves and liars and sex predators and all the worst types of people. It's was like, it ever really that much different, though? I feel like... <laughs> yeah, but I was trying to save it back then. And it's oh, like, sure. uh, you know, all the efforts of, of, like, every time you put out a fire, two more started. Mm -hmm. It's just horrible. So I should have, you were 100% right about esports being a waste of my time. You were definitely right about that, for sure. Well, hey, listen, we all live and learn, right? Yeah, we all make mistakes, but mine cost me 20 years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we can. So, you know. We've got, as long uh, as we got good stories to tell, right? Well, yeah, sort of. Some. Listen, yeah. I still support you through the through the loaded thing, okay? I think you deserved it, all right? So, yeah, yeah, listen. I, I, I had your back and all your bullshit, too. Like, you owed me You owed me that one, at least, for fuck's sake. We all have our uh, we all have our stories, you know. At the end of the yeah. day, even if you waste a lot of time, as long as you got good stories to tell. I was there for you when you got kicked from Root. Don't oh, ever Jesus. fucking. That was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I was I was doing your PR offensive back then, brother. So don't don't forget. What do you um? What do you live at these days? I had to move back to the UK, man. The pandemic fucking wiped out my visa. Basically, I started a. I went to a startup. Mm -hmm. We were gonna be like a. It was gonna be like Vice, you know, but like for esports, the Vice of esports. We were gonna like do documentaries and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, they hired me into this job. It was gonna be down in Texas. I was living in Vegas at the time, mm -hmm. and uh, I got the visa. And then they said, "Oh well, the all the financial backers have pulled out because of the pandemic." So this must have been like I don't know February or March. Something yeah. like that at 2020. And they said, so we're just going to shut down. And I said, but if you close down this business, I don't have a visa anymore. And they went, yeah, that really sucks for you. <laughs> and I'd walked away from another job, you know. Oh, yeah. So I had 60 days to get out the country. I basically got a taste of Trump's America. And yeah. uh, I had 60 days to get all my shit onto a shipping container and come back to Britain. So I'm in, uh, I'm in the UK now, unfortunately. But um long for the day i get to return i'll be back out in the states this year uh, i'm i'm a pr uh, adjunct professor now really um, where, where doing what uh university in new haven i teach a sports integrity course interesting um where's the university so, of new haven i don't even know what state that's in connecticut okay gotcha um so uh i've been doing that teaching's been pretty rewarding um and you know i i i realized i had a lot to work on you know i was having a lot of problems with like uh, grief and trauma and substance abuse. I'd made a cunt of myself on the train wrecks podcast that everyone saw. It was like pretty messy. What I went away. Wait, and, I, am I? Do I know this? Did I cover this? Uh, I mean, you might have been there for the aftermath. I mean, basically, like the the person I was living with and like looking after, a uh, uh, girl called Maria. She passed away, and it was like at Christmas. I I, I found I found her. You know, to oh see. Jesus, okay. And um, I had to call up a family at Christmas and like deal with all of that. And it really 
threw me for a fucking loop. So I got like, I started like heavily drinking and, you know, the doctors were giving me pills. And so I was popping all this shit. Uh-huh. And so anyway, I was like, cause you know what I'm like, I'm a fucking retard. So I fucking was like, oh, I'll rush back into work. No problem. Work will get me through the pain. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, I fucking basically went on a train wrecks podcast and had an argument with train wrecks. When I was out of my mind, I'd been awake for like, three days and i just made a cunt of myself and basically it was it, the worst part about it was i think it was one where he had like critical on so it was this massive podcast that was like eighty thousand viewers or something mm-hmm. it was the worst time to have like a psychological meltdown sure uh, and uh so after that i mean i was like i was I, I i i won't tell any lies i was still fucked up for ages after that but i went away and like basically like worked on my shit and i was like you know okay I can take charge in this area, this area, this area. Basically, like, you know, became a professor, started teaching, started writing regularly, and, you mm-hmm. know, been streaming on and off, and just trying to be a normal human being again, you know? Yeah. Well, that's cool. What um, about you, though? I mean, what, what have I missed? Like, uh, I've, I, I, what, what's blowing my mind is, in terms of your arc right now, you appear to be, like, some... You appear to be the most fuckable guy in streaming. Like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I just... Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Like for real? What the fuck? What the fuck happened? Like, we, we did our red pill arc, you know, and I learned all the tips and strategies that they have. So, um, no, but um, yeah, I don't know. I've just been a uh, yeah, I've just been streaming a meme, man. You know, you know how it goes. I um, saw you got married as well, right? Yeah, I picked up, yeah. found some Swedish chick in New Zealand, abducted her. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't think and, you've and ever. Wait, when the fuck was? How long has it been since we've seen each other in real life? Has it been over five years? Last- Oh, in real life, the last time was when we were in Vegas at CES when you were doing your blue microphone uh-huh. promotion. How how long ago was that? 2017, I want to say. Okay, damn. Hell of a time. You know, I ain't changed much, just fatter and bolder. Mm-hmm. Not really much of a fucking difference there. More gray in the beard. Gotcha, you gotcha. have blue hair all the time now. Is that ironic? or? Um, in 2019, I did like a donation drive, and I said I'd dye my hair blue if they did enough donations and i finally did it like last month so i'm waiting for it to probably grow holy shit we'll pizza gg delivered the fucking promises quicker than that brother holy yeah, well, fuck i know i was gonna do it but i kept putting it off but yeah here i am mm. yeah, no lies here so uh nathan must be what like fucking not yet i now? hope not oh uh he's like 11 years old now no yeah not fucking you know what i mean like, he's 11 yeah we're gonna say he's like 10 12 or something like that yeah. There or thereabouts. Like, Jesus Christ. Where did all the fucking time go? Uh, you know, one day at a time. Probably on Reddit and Twitter. That's <laughs> that's typically how yeah. it works, yeah. So, I mean, other than that, brother, I mean, it's uh, same old, same old. I, I, I dip in and out of the old politics now, but nothing like what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know how you got the patience for it, frankly, because, I, I, you know, I, I occasionally over the years have dipped in and out of your stream, and mm-hmm. it just seems to be you patiently explaining simple concepts to inarticulate morons um yeah i mean it pays well <laughs> that's about all i can say but i mean well you know yeah i just the, watched, money's, the money's good i guess yeah i just went through that uh there's a documentary called died suddenly that i went through yesterday um oh, oh shit this vaccine stuff holy moly i i it, why is everything got to just like it's like where the middle is that you can see some sort of vague sensible notion mm-hmm. and it's like no one wants to stand there ever it's like so on like put it this way when i when i see people like post oh like th- that video i've seen that video compilation of like footballers oh, people like, like collapsing on the field that, yeah. Yeah, and it's like i i did a debunk on that because it's like some of them are from like two three years ago you yeah. know what i mean mm-hmm. and and it's and it's like that type of video is the most easy thing to manipulate mm-hmm. there's even a wikipedia page by the way for like soccer players who've died on the field and if you go look at like 2010 yeah. there's loads of them you know it's just one of those things but on the other hand, you know, people who like refuse to acknowledge that there's even the risk with a vaccine, that's like fucking dangerous and insane as well, right? Like we had a we had a British journalist. She uh, was very, you know, big vaccine 
uh, proponent and um, she had headaches for three days after getting her second jab and she died and it turned out it was a blood clot in her brain. Was this been, the um, AstraZeneca one I think they had in the UK, right? That was... I don't know which one she had. Mm -hmm. uh, probably AstraZeneca if it was UK. That's what I got as well. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the, but but you know, the, the her family was saying she was like reluctant to go to the doctor and not bother them because she was so adamant. It, you know, the vaccines were side effects uh, free, and it's like, guys, can we? Like, why? Is, why has this even got to be vaguely political? It's a public health issue. Why is every everybody got to be dumb about it? And yeah, this hashtag died suddenly thing. That's all over on twitter at the moment mm -hmm. it's the dumbest fucking shit it's full of st it's full of just like statistical lies i saw that dr mccullery went on tucker carlson the other day mm -hmm. and misquoted an article mm -hmm. he said there'd been 1650 new cases of athletes under 35 dropping and when you look at the empirical data it's got like 71 year olds who've died of cancer in there and stuff it's like yeah. and he's just uncritically repeated that on fox news and he's a doctor what and a even some mess. of the stats that like when i was going over some of this thing with uh my two buddies just Today. like some of the stats were just hilarious like people are saying like in one case we saw like three out of four children being born are like dying like 80 percent miscarriages yeah. and shit and like, you don't think we wouldn't notice that like you don't think that there wouldn't be like everybody in the world would be clamoring about like how horrible this is um and mm -hmm. then the thing that triggers me the most about all this what you bring up too is that like there are like there are important discussions that need to happen around, especially mandating vaccines. Like there's important, yes, difficult conversations yeah. that need to be happening. Because a vaccine is a spooky thing. You put it in your body, it's a big fucking deal. Um, and, and you know, there probably are like some risks. Like I feel like at this point, when it comes to like inflammation of the heart for the myocarditis stuff, it seems like if you're in like the 18 to, I think it's the 18 to 40 category of like young man, there might be slightly more risk to getting the vaccine than like getting COVID. So maybe it's not for you, but like mm -hmm. there's not even a space to have that conversation because you, you no, you can't do no. it. Yeah, because it's so hijacked on like every end by like these insane fucking people that are pushing like just insane conspiratorial nonsense. And it's like, it's a crime to the issues that should be discussed, which is just really frustrating. Yeah, yeah and, and that's why, I mean, again, it was another reason why it's like, you know, when I wasn't mentally resilient enough to deal with that kind of stuff, because I think like if I'd got dogpiled at any of these points, you know, it would have really set me back mentally. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I like, I just felt like I couldn't, like engage with any of that stuff like i saw other podcasts i had people reaching out you want to do a show you want to talk about this topic and i went absolutely not if there was ever one of those divisive topics where you can you know exactly dogmatically what it, what a lefty's gonna say and what a rightoid's gonna say i stayed away from every single one of those yeah because they're the ones where the crazies come out and and but now you know i feel like you know like i i, I saw obviously a few of your clips and you know, saying you wanted to do some content or whatever. So I don't even know what the fuck that would look like or or where I would shoehorn myself in. But, you know, like, yeah, I could, uh, I don't know. I mean, the things that interest me are mostly just the media and media coverage and mm -hmm. journalism. And I mean, at the very least, if anything ever comes that. up and you feel like you either want my opinion on it or you want to argue about something, yeah, you can always, like, hop in or give me a message and we can, like, hash it out. Yeah, well, I mean, you know what? It'd be good to just catch up every fucking now and then. I feel like... Uh, if you're talking to me, you're not talking to one of these fucking crazy people. <laughs> True, like, yeah. I mean, seriously, like, I'm never going to fucking... I, I thought it was funny because when I was talking about, like, leeches and people, like, using you for attention, someone in the chat was like, typing, and now he's doing the same. Like, brother, I'm too long in the tooth. I don't want the attention. I've yeah, come out the also, other side. I don't know if you've had this with people around you, but it also sucks, too, because, like, the all, it's a catch-22. All of the people that are really worried about... Um, all of the people that are really worried about like leeching are always the people that like you'd want to leech off of you. Like every time you've gotten messages, you're like, oh, like I don't want to come around yeah. too much. It's like, bro, like you're fun to have around, like come around and chill, like it's cool. But like the people that will like throw themselves in over and over again, it's like, okay, this is getting obnoxious, you know? Yeah, it just says, yeah. Yeah, it's um, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty wild. I mean, you know, I, I, it's like I say, I, I think uh, you've definitely got a couple of people in your orbit right now uh, from checking in. They're not here by they're not here by Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. You know. But hey, those are the most fun ones because they always go out with a they always go out with a big boom. So, yeah, that is true. There is always a meltdown. Well, where are you at with you and uh, John Zerka? Um, I think I we're cool again. I, it's very rare that I'll hold yeah. a grudge. Usually, if somebody just like comes back and they're chill, I usually just don't give a fuck. It's pretty rare. Oh, that right. I'll hold so, just fill me in on this bit, okay? So, mm -hmm. you and John, Zirka, you and John Zerka were friends. I saw John. He was doing a tour where he was holding up signs 
and tweeting things out like leftist attacks me and it's like someone throwing coffee at him on a on a college campus mm -hmm. and then john zerker the camera cuts just as he's about to swing a punch at him or something yeah because <laughs> john zerker's a unit you know like yeah, he's, he's fucking huge. way bigger yeah. yeah uh and then and then the next thing i knew he was talking about how he was going to destroy destiny and i was like why would why would you want to destroy steven what's going on there and then there was uh he was absolutely grilling mr girl he fucking ruined mr girl <laughs> when mr girl was trying to interview, interview him to get the dirt on you yeah and he was just going yeah but didn't you talk to richard spencer though bro so how could you criticize and it's like mate if you're getting fucking 4d chest by john zerka like you know Zerka's, come on like call yeah, it quit zerka's a smart dude and zerka's really I funny know, I, I used to love his conspiracy theory bullshit back when he was that guy back when he was flat earth guy oh he still uh, is don't worry oh he still is he okay still cool is, yeah but uh, but yeah anyway I, I love John like I, I, I like I actually legitimately liked him out of all of the people that came out of that whole you know Raj Royale scuffed podcast era when I was doing all of those mm -hmm. um, John was the one guy I wish I got to know a bit better he was like so I was like I didn't know if it was a genuine falling out or if it was content or whatever no it was a genuine falling out but it's never over I don't care about politics shit it was over some really stupid and weird personal shit that I was going through that he was farming the fuck out of and I just got ultra fucking right. triggered over it but uh, now we're cool now and it's whatever so what was What's that? That was so it was some chick drama, right? It was a that's a long story, but all of that is settled now. We've made amends and everything's cool, and I'm not about to rehash uh, any facts. Right. I don't want to. Yeah, no, don't but, worry. but I'll, I'll look yeah. in my own time. I'm sure. sure there's a live stream fail thread I can just read. There, well, it'd be there, it's, it's more like a, it's more, that's like your Atlas shrugged of like political or not even political like relationship <laughs> yeah. online random shit. There's a 600 page. Yeah, Steven, it says you're a predator. <laughs> yeah, it's a that's a long story, but um, <clears throat> yeah, whatever. Fuck it then. But uh, so other people I think you've fallen out with who I like, or uh, you know, Casey Tron. <laughs> That's another long story. We were kind of friendly, like, or friends even. Like she messaged me, we talked about drugs and She's shit. She's like, queen, going, dude. How are you going to fall out with Casey? The oh, problem is that come on. I, I got into a very weird thing where she has a very close friend. I didn't know how close they were at the time who was just doing really weird fucking shit in my personal right. life. And when we got into a fight over that, she took his side, and now she's like been like brain poisoned against me ever since. She fucking oh, okay. hates me. Like if you go through her Reddit account right now, she's got like over like probably one or two hundred comments in like the past like three pages about me. She just nonstop posts about it. Her brain is like that was fried. the Bob Seven guy, right? Because yeah. I liked him too. Yeah, he was also he's a funny guy. <laughs> yeah, just, just Have like, I got bad taste in people? No, like, what's no, no. Going on? Bob like, Seven yeah, was okay. funny. Casey Trump was All funny right. too. I think Bob Seven is still funny. It was just but it's just a it's just that's a long story. There's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of history. I still think Bob Seven is funny. He just tried to fuck with me in a lot of really weird ways. The last thing I saw, uh, which it was pretty cringe, I won't lie about it. Like, I'd say it if she was here, but like, uh, when somebody linked to like Casey Tron's Reddit account or whatever. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot oh, of memes about it. It was like, you know, uh, <laughs> DM, I've been writing, but you still ain't calling. It was like really creepy. Like, she had about, what, 500 posts about you? Like, yeah, it was, uh, it was insane. Yeah. Uh, Full stand out of a mind. It was real bad. Like, uh -huh. oh wait, uh, somebody linked, somebody linked her account again. Yeah. Oh yeah. She just her last post about me was sixteen hours ago. So yeah, <laughs> she's oh, still yeah, going. You, <laughs> yo, you, you, you got to fix that. Like, like you got to build that bridge, man, just to stop this happening. This is sad. Like, yeah. okay, I'll think about it. Yeah, yeah. No, come on. She was good people, man. Back in the day. Back in the day, she was. I agree, but you know, people change. What are you gonna do? Yeah. True. True. She didn't go pandemic crazy though. Uh, no, she went weed crazy. I think smoking weed every day, I think it's not good. We need to talk about that more. Oh, yeah, there's a thing. There's mm. a thing. She uh, what smokes I, what a I, lot every day, too. Holy shit. What I hate about, like, uh, potheads is when they're fully into it and they just cannot accept that there could ever be a downside to it. And it's like I am watching you deteriorate in mentally front of my eyes. Be, yeah. like, before my eyes, dude. Like, it, it, there's obviously more of this than meets the fucking eye, homie. Could you just like slow down a little bit? No, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. I, that, it's like I'm obviously a legalized all drugs kind of guy, but like, fuck, mm -hmm. man, it's hard to want to come along for the ride with the potheads because they're just so obnoxious about it. Yeah, for sure. And I think weed is cool. It's fun to smoke. I enjoy it. But like, I think anytime you're doing any drug every single day, you got to ask yourself if it's good for you. But mm. what about train wrecks? You talk to you talk to him? Yeah, me and him are cool. Um, I can't talk on stream really with any of these people anymore because I'm banned on Twitch. So it's like, we can't yeah, yeah, really. yeah, I get but it. No, yeah, and they stream constantly, dude. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, like last time I saw Train, it was like he'd been up gambling for two days straight or something. He was fully tweaking. That could be any um, day in the past like two years. I think yeah, he regularly dude, does he looked, like 36 hour streams. That's just. Yeah, yeah, he looked super thin in the face. Like if he was in a casino, my motherfuckers would have asked him to leave, you know? Yeah. And like, I was like, this is happening on Twitter. There's, there's the other hypocrisy of it, right? You say something that was totally within the purview of. Uh, 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 it actually was a mainstream opinion in America. That's what uh, essentially got you uh, deplatformed. Maybe, and, but yeah. Uh, uh, and, and yet, you know, you've got a dude like who's clearly like out of his mind awake for two days pulling slot machines. Like, used to be back in the day, if you remember, back when Phantom Lord was on his bullshit. <laughs> Remember how like uh, OP at Twitch used to check in with him every thirty minutes, going, "You should take a break and play some ads now, yeah, right?" Jesus. And, uh, yeah, and it's like they don't even do that for you anymore, you know? Dude, that was those were he won his lawsuit. He got like twenty four thousand dollars after like yeah, six I mean, years. Yeah, of... he, <laughs> yeah, he said he won. I mean, uh... basically, what he won on, he won because obviously I covered that from start to finish. It was my story that was in court. I thought it was going to get called up, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, they didn't call me as a witness. But they used uh, the logs that I'd come into possession of. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line was, uh, he only won on the basis that it was agreed by a jury. Twitch hadn't honored the contractual obligation to give him notice of termination yeah basically yeah. and yeah and so they went through his finances and said this is what you would have got in the termination period you mm -hmm. know? so so yeah holy shit uh so yeah train i haven't talked to him for a while i, I, I sent him um i sent him a dm uh when he he did an announcement saying he'd made like he was gonna do a one million he'd won 10 million dollars and was gonna do a million dollar giveaway or some shit and I just sent him a DM saying, like, congrats on all your success. And, you know, real sorry we haven't talked for a while. It's, that's 100% on me. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I haven't, haven't, uh, haven't caught up with him, really. So that's it, man. I'm, like, learning about, I mean, like... Are you still um, friends with my, my other haters, uh, Monte Cristo and Thorin? Do you guys still do content together? <laughs> well, that was the podcast that got canceled at night. Like, we oh, laugh gotcha, and gotcha. do this thing called the Four Horse Horsemen where we're, like, we're going to fix esports and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know, dude, like... Uh, yeah, like, obviously, them are, uh, esports is a, is an increasing OG esports is an increasingly small tribe right now, mm -hmm. so we all have to sort of stick together. But you know, I I, I get it, man. Like I'm I'm like you at or where you're at now mentally. I like I, I can't be bothered to hold grudges against people. It just seems so self defeating to mm -hmm. having like a positive life. Yeah, for and sure, yeah. and and you know, I'm not I I, I like. Uh, I don't really go along for the ride on any of that bullshit anymore. I've told them it, that's not what I'm about. I don't want to be fighting with people or like you know being mm -hmm. abused and, unless it's unless it's a cause worth doing it for. I yeah, don't sure. just want drama for drama's sake. You know what I mean? It's like if somebody's like uh, like trying to cancel somebody or doing some like crazy shit or like making some wild. Yeah, decisions. exactly. Yeah, sure. I mean, like it, that's one of the things. This is something I know you'll probably have some like feelings about. It's like I'm I'm watching from a distance all of these like influencers get accused of like sex shit, you know, sex crimes and rape and sexual harassment and all this stuff, and it's like. I'm what I watch people's reaction to it, and it seems that the knee jerk reaction isn't to like offer support to a victim or do a charity stream or raise money for like a, a, you know a, a, a woman's shelter or something equivalent. It's they just want to milk it for content, mm -hmm. and 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 it's like like every time it happens like there's no big broad conversation about why does this keep happening why 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 is this attitude so prevalent in influencer circles and i, I don't know there's like the, the, like the me too movement never stopped in the influencer world it it just slowed to a crawl but like it's still it's still happening you know what i mean it's like it's pretty yeah i feel like yeah it sucks because nobody has like good conversations around like consent or what's yeah, yeah. Or like yeah it's always just like don't rape and then like that's where it stops and then it's like okay, yeah and that's like and the only conversation i have is like okay yeah well this is like a waste but, of but like not, not not only that as well it, but i mean it's like you know why why is why is it baked into influencer success that you have to be like 
you know promiscuous and 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 have a little fucking orbit a harem and what are power dynamics and what do they look like and when are you crossing a threshold and when you're for, not and is it different? you gotta figure for a lot of these people like um a lot of these people probably never had sexual access to anything in their life right and then all of a sudden they're in a world where they're getting like an unlimited amount exactly. like thrown at them yeah yep. it probably is like super mind fucky for a lot of people i imagine yeah, yeah, and it's 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 why people go off the fucking rails with like money, you know, and and like when you're a Hollywood actor, you or you get drinking and cocaine, and you mm -hmm. know you can have everything on tap, right? I get it. Yeah. Um, you know, but it's like the 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 discourse around that just seems to be every time something terrible happens, the influencers go, okay, it's my time to shine, and they come in and they shout and they screech and they holler and they beat their chest and they try and monetize this like heinous thing for like views and grow their stream and 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 you know I I think about influencers that have like developed a lot lately like all the new wave of influencers how many of them actually got to where they are predicated on content and how many got to where they are and, and hard work obviously and how many of them got to where they are predicated on either leeching off a bigger streamer or milking a drama to make themselves relevant a la Keffels you um, know well I don't know actually I think the networking thing is important now, obviously, more than it was before. Because back in the day, you kind of had to build it on your own because there was nobody to network off of, right? Because we were kind of like mm. some of the first people getting in. Um, but the um, I think that people can try to milk drama. But I, I think that milking drama will get you a little bit of viewers initially. But I don't think it carries, like, forward. Like, Kevils is actually a really good example. Like, her shit is all dead. Like, her YouTube is dead. Her stream yeah. doesn't get, like, viewers. Yeah. Like So, yeah, you'll become, like, uh, like, a little spark that blows up for a second. But then afterwards, like, nobody cares about you anymore. Um, yeah. I think that um, yeah, you you have to work pretty hard if you want to like build something. That wouldn't be true if the content in and of itself had value. Yeah, of course, yeah. So, but when yeah, people are just there know? to like leech or, or to milk a situation a little bit, but they don't add any insight or have anything like worth saying, then yeah, yeah I think that shit like falls apart pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 <laughs> like I don't know, and and there's there's a lot of influencers like I, I see now a lot of streamers. I guess I should say maybe not use the term influencer so much, but I, I see a lot of streamers right now, and it's like. I don't know. I, I, I think I can see how they're on the road to end up in a not so great place. And, you know, <clears throat> they're going to have an, a live stream fail thread about them. And it's clear what they're going to be doing. You know, I won't name names. There was a there was one recently where it was like it was so obvious, you know, just from hearing stuff behind the scenes and everything else. And, and it was like, you know, somebody somebody should have shut this down instead of fucking enabling it for a wait for which thing? Well, for like, you know, I'm not going to name names, but, you know, there's like... Fucking name know. names. That's what we do here now. Fuck it. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, you, my you, God. Like, dude, I'm easing back in. Let me dip a fucking toe in the water. But what I'm saying is it's like th there's types of behavior where, like, if I can identify, that that's a bit weird and probably someone should say something. Um, then think about the people in their orbit. And what's super weird is influencers do not call out influencers on their bullshit privately. They wait until the worst thing happens and it goes public, and then they call them out publicly. That's yeah, what I, mean, I can't stand. Yeah, I know. But, I, I mean, I, it doesn't this happen? Isn't this everywhere? This is, like, entertainment, right? I don't think it's unique to streamers. Like, look at the Harvey Weinstein Sure, shit, sure, right? sure. Look at the Bill sure. Cosby stuff. Look at the R. Kelly stuff. Like, I think this is just this is just how entertainment works. People always protect their own, you know? yeah. Um, yeah, you're right. It, it's it's just obviously we're playing catch up, and I and I think because we're playing catch up, there's like this insane turbocharged element to it where mm -hmm. people realize careers might only last a year or two, so they just go even more like disgusting than than even a, a real celebrity would, you know? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Yeah. So, but yeah. Um, so what what are you, what are your plans for the stream today anyway? I don't want to keep. I, I feel bad about kicking off Chud Logic because he's like. No, we had, we happen, got to the end of to, our shit. We were good. You were having a great conversation about notting there, where you were trying to pretend you've never seen a video of a woman being fucked by a dog, but then you described what happens when a woman well, is fucked by a dog. Yeah, I know what happens because so. I've seen because I read porn sometimes, and there's like for oh, okay, you read. Porn, yeah, for I furry don't look porn. at the pictures of the videos. I like to read the text. All right, you're very. Well, sometimes very when you're cerebral. looking through like anime shit or whatever, and you're reading some fucking thing, and it seems kind of hot, and then they start talking about like, and then it's like furry dick not. It's like, oh, I didn't realize I was reading fucking furry porn, and then you, yeah, and then it also shows up in a lot of. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, um, if you're into hentai. 
uh, furry, the furry community has a lot of really good artists and they're like uh, on their uh, amateur side. Oh my God. But they also do like all mm. that nodding shit and everything. So yeah, you, you yeah. Get there. I've seen horse bucking I, people before, but I've just, I've never seen the dog stuff. I haven't gone looking for it, but you know, maybe I'll, I'll check it out. Well, later. I mean, the, that, the horse fucking stuff was like a rite of passage on the internet, like Mr. Mm -hmm. Hands and all that stuff, right? Like mm -hmm. old school internet, you were bound to see that. I follow an account on Twitter, a guy called, um, uh, gaming and pandas or pandas and video. I always forget which way around it is now because he got banned a few times. Or, but anyway, he unironically used to tweet like furry porn uh, to like as a as a bit as a joke. Mm -hmm. But then he secretly found it himself like getting more and more into it. And now it's just like you go on his account and it's just like it's just about about he has a fetish for Bowser from Mario. Okay, it's yeah. just ba it's just Bowser dick. A lot of people do that. They flirt with. Some yeah. taboo shit is like a humorous way, but it's like, yeah, a little bit more true than. Yeah, he said uh, he flew too close to the fucking sun and yeah. got, and now he wants to get knotted, I think. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah, what a nightmare. Um, so, yeah, look, I don't know, man. I don't want to take up the whole stream. I just wanted to catch up here and, you know, shoot the shit for a little bit and see how you're doing. But yeah, sure. in, ge in general, you're healthy. Everything's good. Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. If you, um, now that you have perms, if, uh, if you ever want to hop in when I'm in this room, you always just hop in and chat, and that's typically how it Yeah, goes, man, so. like, uh, you know, if you're ever talking about some stuff, um, you know, that's interesting, like, yeah, I'll, I'll swing by, but also as well, like, you ever want to, I know, maybe there's something you want to talk about. One thing that people have been annoying me with, um, some of your fans keep messaging me going, um, uh, you should talk to Steven about the Hunter Biden laptop, he'll totally school you on that, and it's like, I, I tried to explain to them I'm not really interested in having like an argument with someone I'm just trying to get back on you know good terms with but sure, yeah. I don't, it, it, but and, and I don't know and, and I think all the debate stuff's cringy I always did frankly because mm -hmm. they're not proper debates generally you know but anyway I, I like I, I don't know if, the, if there's a if there's a thing to talk about that relates to that stuff like I, I, I mean I, I'm game I'll give it a go I don't think we'll fall out. I don't think like, I'm not one of those dudes. I never was one of those dudes. Like, like when we when we fell out the first time, it was a stupid thing. Like the the biggest regret in my life is I took myself too seriously for 24 hours. And what I didn't do, because that was at the time, what you probably don't remember, is that was at the time when when you were getting wrecked over the JonTron thing. And so you were totally you would you were totally right on the JonTron thing, and John Tron made a fucking fool of himself on your stream. But everyone was trying to essentially be an apologist for John Tron, and I did that. I said like, he's an idiot, he's out of his depth, he tripped over his words. I'm I'm sure actually in retrospect i think he just said a bunch of fucking racist shit but anyway um that was when you said what you said um what mm -hmm. i didn't do was i didn't empathize and say um steven's probably getting wrecked right now because john Ton john tron's an even bigger creator mm -hmm. and so he must have been getting it from all sides as well and if i just took 24 hours took a deep breath i always calmed down in the end but instead i didn't i argued with you and it just became a really stupid childish thing yeah, lots of regrets know. about how i handled that stuff for it's real all, it's all good it is what it is i know i know, I know. it is we, we've had this talk before i just uh, it was on a scuff podcast so we had to listen to Train do a one-hour fucking introduction over the top of it. Right? <laughs> I remember it. Fuck, I missed the Train intros. Yeah. God damn. I should bring him back, dog. I mean, you know, if he would just halve the number of guests on him, they'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> but I just need to podcast get... podcast with 14 people is insane. Yeah. Maybe next uh, next year I'll try to get unbanned from Twitch. We'll see. Or I've got like four months and I can submit my next appeal. We'll try it. So. Yeah. Oh, is that what's going on? I mean, listen, I don't even know. Like, the way things are going, like... If I was if I was trained, I don't know what his sponsorship contracts are like. But if I was a serious content creator and I wanted to do podcasts and I didn't have, you know, I, I was starting or I had a big enough audience that they would follow me, I'd jump on YouTube tomorrow. Frankly, I I, I just think there's a better level of discourse here than there is on Twitch, and I think you can talk about things in a way that you can't on on Twitch anymore. There's no humor on Twitch anymore. Basically, it's like it's really become a sanctimonious platform for. It, it, it's almost like it, it's almost like children's entertainment it's really bad over there right now and and you know i think youtube is the place to be if you want to have robust adult discourse put it that way yeah maybe yeah yeah we'll see so but look man like i said i don't want to take up too much of your time uh, it's good to catch up it's good at your voice i'm glad your life's going good apart from all the crazy people mm -hmm. and um you know try and kill off a few of them metaphorically speaking obviously uh before the end of the year and you know, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll swing by again sometime. I'll have actually something worth talking about with you, and I'll leave you to fucking Factorio. Is this all the same game? 
Yes, that yeah, you've been playing for like story. a year. Don't worry about it, okay? All oh right, shit! Wait, it. hold on. I, Did you and Lycan ever talk to each other? Yeah, of course. Go way back. How you doing, buddy? Yo, how you doing, dude? Lycan hosted. Lycan is another one that Thorin hates because he hosted. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, the show. <laughs> He hosted that podcast, if you remember, and, he, and we were just shooting the shit, and we could have said absolutely anything. And then, like, in 20 minutes in, went, by the way, we are live. <laughs> like, classic podcast classic hosting. So, yeah, no, like, it. You, you're posting um, loads of, like, hot pictures of yourself, like, your dick out and stuff. Have you got on OnlyFans or something now? Wait, has he pulled his dick out yet? I, th I, I think, did I see your dick the other day, like, or was that someone else? Oh, he's not talking to me. I've, I've overstepped the boundary, I think. He's probably putting it away uh, right what? now. Hold on, he's getting ready. Yeah, he's like, holy shit. Oh, he said one sec. <clears throat> well, sorry, I'll wait. I'll, I, I was going to leave, but if like and say, I'll talk to him for a little bit and then, and then bounce. But yeah, so yeah, Lycan basically uh, was another person that like immediately met doing. Thorin. Oh, oh yeah, here he is. How you doing? Yeah. So have you got an OnlyFans now? Because oh, hey. every time I hey, see your shit, every no. time I see your shit, you've got like your dick out or you're pulling your boxes up your ass crack or... There's no dick. There's no dick. I haven't pulled okay. the boxes up the ass crack since the tracer pick, but you get that. Was <laughs> yeah, that was it. That was the one. I love that one. Yep. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, that's that's kept me warm many a lonely night. Oh, you make my heart swell, Richard. Yeah, my, um, and, and you make my dick swell, so we're all good. Yeah. Don't forget, by the way, Thorin forgave me for that, and we were good when I came. He didn't mean it though. He he didn't mean it. Yeah. Every, <laughs> Well, every, every time we were alone privately, he would just be like, "Rich." He was like, uh, "He was like Arya." Thorin's like Arya Stark out of Game of Thrones. You know when she's repeating that list of all the people she's gonna kill. You were on Thorin's list for real, dog. Like, like oh, he dude. never, he never fucking forgave you for that shit. Like, of course well, he fucking didn't. So, so I thought he did, and then we have the thing. It's good where it's the CS:GO event. We talk. Everything's fine and cool. And then I, I put my foot in my mouth about the CS:GO cheating thing. You remember that? And, I did, yeah. And 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 he fucking he sent the dogs after me. And mm -hmm. I uh, I messaged you one time, and I'm like, hey, um, do you think you get me an interview with Thorne? He's like, not. Nah. You're like, nah, mate. He's fucking done with you. Yeah, he was. He was. Wait, what point. is the um, the CS:GO cheating thing? Am I? What it, was Thorne involved in? Like a cheating thing, or what happened? No, 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 no. it was. Um, it was which which cheating scandal was it? Was it, uh, <laughs> was, <laughs> well, yeah, so, it was. It was the coach book one, right? Um, no, this was in 20, it would have been late 2015, early 2016, because we did the oh, thing in September. So, the Kaylee vacuuming. That might have yeah. been it. Yeah, yeah. the vacuuming. You, you're talking about the vacuuming, I think. And yeah. I, um, Stephen, can you mute for a second? Uh, oh, the stream, yeah, hold on. Just a mute. Wow. Time. Okay, we're unmuting. Oh, geez. Okay, go ahead. So, so I'm there, and and you know, Richard and and Duncan are being cool with me, and like you know, treat me like a a fellow host, which I wasn't. Mm. And um, and they they were like, you know, oh, this shit's rampant. Like people are cheating all the fucking time. Like this is going on constantly. <laughs> and mm. so so jump to a few months later, the the vac ban the vacuuming thing comes out, and I said, you know, uh, this shit is rife. That's all I said. I just said, CS:GO is rife with cheating. That's all I said. I didn't think about how it could implicate anyone else that I was recently associated Which, with. Which, of course, anything. was a massive overstatement oh, to yeah. what actually yeah. been said. I, dude, it, yeah. I was like, it was like, and I hate that I'm pulling this excuse out. It was like three in the morning. My dog just woke me up to go take a shit. And I saw the tweet and people were talking shit about StarCraft all of a sudden. And so I, I tweeted that out. And um, I woke up to a fucking Reddit thread, two Reddit threads about CSGO host says there's rife cheating around csgo the top of csgo and that was mm. that was and then yeah and so apparently you guys got like a bunch of shit for it behind the scenes and and um duncan was super pissed damn yeah yeah i mean you know it was just one of those things where it's like uh it because we'd already we'd all we'd had a suspicion about a number of players you know dudes like flusher and stuff like that it was like we were basically in a weird position where We'd had a bunch of like vac bans that had happened in like 2014 and some high profile ones. And then we were waiting for like maybe the next dominoes to fall. And like people behind the scenes were always like saying, We're going to get them this time. You watch, there's been an update. We're working with Valve. And the bans just never came. 
uh, the bands just never fucking came and you know some of the shit when we were like okay i guess that was that then and and there hasn't been any other like high profile one since so when 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 lightning came out and was like yeah you know there i was and it was it was like just after the event or something i think as mm-hmm. well so it was like so obvious he'd been talking to me and Thorin, and he was going, "I've been talking to, I've been talking to experts on the scene, and they say yeah, all the pro players are shit." And I'm like, "Bro, I've like got- I didn't even say that, but there was the implication." Yeah, it was yeah, clear, there was. And yeah. I didn't see I'm that. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, that's all right, man. Who gives a fuck? Esports is shit. It's a fucking joke. It's occupied by fucking losers like myself. It's an absolute nightmare. Damn, dude, just make a podcast, man. You've got the chops. I, dude, I've got one. Just no cunt watches it. <laughs> so, I've well, had it, some really good get- Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. I, 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 probably where I went wrong is I keep interviewing esports people. Maybe, maybe that's <laughs> the big problem. Uh, but uh, you know, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna do different things this year. I've got some ideas for content, and you know, whatever. I would say so. Yeah. What, so, what do you do these days? Um, I, I don't do content anymore, except you know, obviously posting my deck on Twitter. Um, I just yeah. work, the, work the normal Are you making job. money off that? Like, I, it was a serious no. question, by the way. No judgment. Oh, no, I want to start an OnlyFans, um, but mm, I would never should, announce dude. it, and it would never be known to anyone. Well, what's uh, the fucking point of doing OnlyFans, then? What the fuck? I, it would be faceless, anonymous content that I post on, on Reddit in places that are completely unrecognizable and outfits I've never worn before. Why? Because, Why would you want to do it like that? Because until it's making me a million dollars a month, I don't want to jeopardize real-life jobs. Grinch. Why would it? Just jeopardize mm. it, dude. Can they even do that right now? I thought the like, I thought the, I thought the position of the average person was like sex work is positive. Yeah, it's based. I mean, we'd love I it. Mean, yeah. You know, I it's just something I don't want to test. <laughs> um, well, uh, what, 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 what what do you do for a living then? Now uh, I work in IT. Mm. Yeah, so I I um I want to do cooking content. I'm moving down to Florida, get a new apartment. It's got a real nice island in the middle. I'm going to do a nice little setup. We'll see how that goes. All right, where um, are you uh, moving to in Florida? Have you said um, The St. Pete area. Oh, is that near Tampa? Yep. Oh, fuck you. Yo, is, uh, is, is Florida the new place? Dude, Florida's awesome. I, I wish Florida. it would be, but no, all those streamer losers are still in fucking um, Austin. Oh, they're still Austin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, dude, like, fuck it. It's like you've got your boy DeSantis, Big Ron, looking out for you. Yeah, true. You know, so, you know. Listen, I always out. said I hated Trump, and I finally found the guy to take him out, okay? And that's why DeSantis yeah. is my man, okay? I'm a yeah, big DeSantis exactly, fan. Dude. <laughs> it's, it, a Republican, it's okay alike. It's like that, you know. It's like that fucking joke about Hitler killing himself. Yeah, like, true. You know, at, at least he killed Hitler, right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, but no. I mean, um, I I spent a bit of time down in Florida. It's a it's a, it's a good place. It's cool. I like it down there. It is. It is very red. You drive in when you're driving over the border from uh, Georgia. It says, uh, "Remember why you came here. Keep Florida red." They're very. They want to keep it that way. But a nah. lot of people are moving. A lot of blue people are moving down there. That's not that red. Red is when you're driving through. Uh, red is when you're driving through Missouri, and there's a giant. I remember seeing giant yeah. a giant red sign, and it just said, "Hell is for Democrats." A huge billboard. <laughs> I saw some stuff. I was uh, when I was when I was living in Georgia. I used to go across to like Alabama and places like that. Went to like Talladega. Holy shit! (laughs) Um, Yeah, that that's red. Like the people there are just exactly the stereotype, you know. Uh, Nice. Yeah. Which, by the way, super friendly and polite to me. I, I feel like a British accent gives you that, though, right? Me. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Yeah. I think yeah. nowadays, I think a lot of mega people would like uh, British people as long as you say you're pro-Brexit. Although before, because when I grew up and for the traditional conservatives, they just hate all Europeans because they think you're all communists, literally. <laughs> all yeah. of them think you're communists, so yeah. Yeah, it's really weird, actually, because I think most Americans would be pro-Brexit if you laid it out with just a primer, because, like, obviously, you have your whole fucking Manifest Destiny, Bill of Rights, we kick the Brits out, whenever we shall not be enslaved, all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, I-, I was obviously, like, I, I didn't. I wasn't pro Brexit. We we were so entwined with like fucking European stuff. It was like it's such a pain in the balls. Now you can't even like travel. Like we have to. Uh, like they they uh, they recognize the British passport, but it's still like we don't get in the speedy queues anymore. We're not straight through when we go like abroad and all that. Like oh, yeah. Damn. So it's it's and our and our economy is as fucked as yours is, frankly. So it's been a it's been an unmitigated disaster. 
we've just come out of like 20 years of austerity measures in Britain and they're telling us just 10 more years of belt tightening and we're going to be fine. Yeah, it's like, for fuck's sake, can I have some money at some point in my fucking life? Is that all right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, nah, yeah, it's gross. So, but yeah, so up north. No, I'm in, I'm in Birmingham now. Um, so, you know, big city. Uh, but I kind of live in the burbs now, you know. I just came back and got, like, this is where all my friends are in the UK, pretty much. So it's a good place to hang out. Although they're all getting old and getting kids and moving out to the countryside like assholes, you know. So. You still have the same producer? Sam? Yeah. I mean, when I see the motherfucker, yeah. But he's, like, like everyone I ever work with, they kind of, like, outgrow me. Because it's like they're good, talented people, and they're not content to just waste their lives like I have. So, so I barely see him. He's producing like Formula One now. No shit. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so it's yeah, fun. it's uh. I mean, everybody, everybody from like that group have all gone on to bigger and better things, except me, pretty much. I mean, you know, Jesus. look right here. We got a, a late game episode seventy three going on. Wow. <laughs> You still doing that for real? No, 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 no. <laughs> he meant this, oh, okay, he meant this conversation. Mm. I was gonna say, holy shit, that would have been. But I mean, I guess you don't keep up with uh, esports or any of that stuff. Uh... No, no. Like, I mean, after I ended the late game, like I did it to focus on the career and all that and relationship at the time and all that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. So I tried to keep up with it for a long time. I still went to the StarCraft events when I could. Um, yeah. Still followed. I got really into CSGO again for like a little time, but otherwise, nah, not in the way they used to. No content or anything like that. Ah, uh, you ain't missing much, man. It's like, it's a re it's really sad. We kept doing, and it's funny because Steven used to talk about it when he was in it. We kept doing that thing where we kept, you know, taking the money and taking the money and lying about the numbers and misrepresenting how big we actually were. And then one money street source would dry up and then we would go for another. And then somewhere in about 2015, all the money that was coming in was dodgy in some way. It was either linked to like skins casinos or, you know, then, uh, you know, it be, would later go on to become obviously like just actual casinos, but unregulated ones where, uh, and then we had all the match fixing stuff. And then obviously we ended up with like, you know, we had crypto, we had NFTs and now it's like the Saudi Arabian state fucking owns ESL. Do you remember back in the day, do you remember world of tanks? <laughs> Dude, I certainly remember World of Tanks, bro. They must have hit you up to do fucking content like so many times back then. Maybe they I must don't remember. Up, right? Everybody they back then was after shit. But one of the worst things I ever saw, I went out to Gamescom in Cologne. Uh huh. And World of Tanks is like uh, they're a Ukrainian company, I think. The people that make them, mm -hmm. they make the game. And anyway, they'd hired this huge fucking stand to advertise their game. Okay. And obviously it was a it was like a german so it's in germany right mm -hmm. and there are definitely laws about this thing but there was like a tank and then these really attractive women came out mm -hmm. and they were wearing like skin tight uniforms that i'm just saying didn't look all that kosher to be wearing in germany you feel me sure and wait they were i don't know what that means wait like as in these uniforms look suspiciously like the type of uniform you go to prison for if you wear wear them in Germany. I still don't and know what you mean. Do you mean too sexual? Or do you mean they look like Nazis? <laughs> Maybe option B. Okay, right? okay, gotcha, Definitely gotcha. Option okay. B. okay. So uh, they were dancing and advertising this game, and I'm like, what the? F this is like 24. You know, like what the fuck is happening? Like you can't be doing this. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they they just fucking did that. Um, they were wild. They had so much money. Uh, they're still going, right? They still exist. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe I think that, I think they're still going, brother. They they got World of Warships now, World of Airplanes or something as well. Like I don't know. I think the funniest so. thing I heard relating to World of Tanks players was apparently there was a little bit of a thing that popped up where people were getting into so many arguments, like in depth arguments about those tanks and shit on their forums that there were like ex military people leaking like classified mm. info to like win arguments about like some yes. of the capabilities of these fucking yeah. tanks and shit. That's yeah. funny to me. That was that was <laughs> hilarious. That was like, yeah, some guy leaked the declassified military fucking sorry, classified military documents. To oh, basically shit. win an argument about which tank was better. People are saying that was with the game of War Thunder. I'm so sorry. But Oh that yeah, that's Warfare. That's the one that all the Finnish people play. I mean. Gotcha, gotcha. And they are they are all the way in on that shit. Do you remember when um, at, uh, at the start of the uh, Ukraine invasion, mm -hmm. people were uploading Armor Three footage, and the news was like reporting on it. 
Um, Russia and it was actually like, three months. Russia does that sometimes, where I think China's done that too. But Russia will release footage where they're like, "This is like actual footage of blah blah blah," but it's just like Arma Three or it's uh, Call of Duty. I think they did on one of their opening things and shit. And yeah, yeah, I remember there was <laughs> we watched a we watched oh, no. a video of Hassan commentating <laughs> about like, "Look at this fucking footage, guys. This is crazy." And it was fucking Arma. It was either Arma Three or Call of Duty shit. I was like, "Oh no!" He, he won a streamy award for news. Like, here's the thing. My, my thoughts on Hassan have always been. The same uh -huh. it's that because again i remember doing podcasts with him and like we had a lot of overlap he was super mean to me the first time i met him uh that you can go watch the video it was like he watched he did what he always does he watched a full youtube video of mine on his stream mm -hmm. said it was garbage and that was a moron then want to talk about it buddy like you know so i went oh, on base. Okay. And, it, it, and it was it was back when he was like a 300 viewer andy i didn't give a fuck i even called him diet destiny on the way out right okay. and he hated that um but you know it was when he just started and it was just like he was doing that thing where we, he'd ask me a question i'd answer it he'd then talk about something else unrelated and then kept doing it doing it doing it and it's like two and a half hours and it's all but anyway when we started do, it, doing um podcasts together i realized we actually did have like a lot of overlap in terms of our thoughts about like you know big government and stuff like this mm -hmm. and it's like i can sense good in him I, I can honestly, I honestly think he might not be the sharpest knife in the drawer. I think that's fair. I also think he doesn't treat his responsibility to get informed seriously enough, mm -hmm. commensurate to the position he has. But I think he could be an exceptional media presence if he would just stop taking himself so seriously and stop just regurgitating mainstream nonsense for an audience that lap up mainstream nonsense sure. where he is right now there has never been a more accurate label ever applied to a streamer ever than he is the steven crowder of the left he it's absolutely 100 percent nailed on the best description i've ever heard of any streamer ever in history and and I, and I think he could do so much more i think he could do so much more and i think deep down he's a nice dude i, I think no he's He's not. No, listen, he's, listen. I, I think he, I think, I think he's suffering still a little bit from. Because remember how he used to be a real fat kid, and I think like some fat kids are always the fat kid, even when they're buff, even when they've got millions in the banks, like and, and they've got women like falling at their feet, and some some people never level up mentally because of the insecurity. And I just, I, I just think that's playing a part a little bit so with him, you know. I maybe that could be the case. I, I am charitable enough that I'll say that could be the case because what I know. Is he's a raging asshole in person he is thoughtless he is unthankful and he is very crass wow. and oh my god um, just god i hate you I you're just hate you. on fire he's um, such a leech like, no, like you, it, you it, just you just drama baiting now bro I know. his own fucking friends will warn people like you really don't want to meet your heroes Ooh, like right right before introducing them damn. like so yeah yeah, keep going. Tell us more. No, that, that's it. Like, the guy's just, uh, from everything I've seen and experienced myself, like, him and I had a decent rapport uh, before mm. you and him had the falling out. And I, I go up to him at TwitchCon, and he goes, oh, it's like, and gives me a limp handshake and turns away. Ooh, like, burn. Oh, you he, got like, snubbed? Anything, seriously? And, like, so I'm not super, you. like, yeah, that's annoying and all that shit, but then when you see it compounded with how I've seen him treat other people that I know um, with the shit that went on with Steven, it's really hard to, like, say uh yeah Hassan's deep down a good person but when you bring up the insecurity thing you know what maybe it's a defense mechanism maybe he never allowed himself to to grow up mentally that way i don't know mm. i don't think it's that i mean his growth once he once steven had sort of positioned him it, it was like stratospheric i mean the few few political streamers have, have had that like explosive growth you know that's like some xqc type shit you know what i mean mm -hmm. and it's like you rarely get that for like politics and and just chatting and that kind of stuff so i i, I understand how you would get a little bit divorced from reality and probably like he's got a million people all want to collab or want it to be in his orbit or wanting to shake his hand or wanted to talk to him like that no excuse for like forgetting your friends and forgetting people that you come up with but it's easy to be an insensitive prick when you're just getting bombarded with like requests like 24 7 you know right. well, i'm just saying you know you're gonna let that sand like him I appreciate his empathy. You know, I'm I'm chock full of it. So, no, listen, I'm 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 like that, brother. Like, I mean, 
I've probably not always been the best person myself, man. Like, and you know, I, I try and think about things that I've done, like looking back, and you know, was I an insensitive prick, or was I a bit too egotistical there, and you know, was not was I high on my own supply at that moment in time, and you know, it's 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 easy to slip. I, as I said, my, my my read on like the difference between him and like someone like Vosh, my read on Vosh is like there's like a weird malevolence there. He seems like a manipulator if I had to use one word to describe him. Whereas Hassan strikes me as somebody who's like he just wants to be liked, he wants to be adored. And any where any time he encounters anything that deviates from that, it actually hurts him. You know, like he he's the kid who cares too much, you know what I mean? Yeah. I see that. I, I think he um like, I don't think he's a bad person. I just think he's a prick. I, mean, I don't think, like, he's got evil intentions or he's, you know, I think he believes a lot of the shit he says and, and all the other crap, and I think he does want good in the world. I just think he's kind of a dick. Damn. Yeah. Jeez. But obviously, you know, that's like armchair fucking psychoanalysis yeah. from a fat drunk, so maybe don't yeah. maybe don't pay any attention. Maybe you know better than me, like, and you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know shit. Hey. Man, I'm, just a, I'm just a bystander these days. Wow. Powerful stuff, mm, well, the, yeah, well, so, I mean, why aren't you, like, last time I saw there was you, um, is it Dan, the landlord dude? Mm hmm And Lycan were all doing, like, some insane three-way stream that, like, seemed to be popping off. I can't even remember what it was about. Maybe. Yeah, it might have been the, the drug talk the last time. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, so my, my assumption in that moment in time when I saw that was like I thought I thought you were like another big streamer right now I thought Destiny had launched like a million children no. and you know only only two of them ended it or three of them ended it bad but Lycan and Dan and these other people well, what about Rem the Bat Boy or whatever he's called uh, uh, <laughs> do you guys um, ever interact he's on like a Rem cycle he comes and goes um, just about right okay long. yeah Right, yeah, Rem the Bat Boy. Yeah, remember, remember, um, I remember him on fucking some podcast where it was like he was like super fucking normal, and then we got on the podcast and he just like he even changed his voice. I was like, what's happening? Like, what the fuck is going? And he was just being like really obnoxious and weird. And I was like, wait, we talked normally like just twenty minutes ago. That was weird. But you know, he seemed he seemed a good kid. He was pretty young. He was like eighteen or nineteen at the time mm -hmm. or something. So. so. So, how, how's he doing? Is he still in the orbit? Is he still going? Uh, like I said, he's on a REM cycle. He comes and goes. He's right now, he's okay. on a goes phase, so, yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah, you've, you've done some good, Steven, man. Yeah, Lycan's okay. still alive. REM's still alive. Dan's still doing good. I even I even squashed the beef with your mod, uh, Forethought. You guys had beef? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, I, I, I didn't... Well, we sort of did, yeah. He said, like... Because if you don't... If you remember, he was on, um used to have a label on the on reddit where he said um professional richard lewis critic we used to be his like <laughs> badge and he yeah he said some wild stuff about me but i mean don't get me wrong mm -hmm. like i said some wild stuff about him too he like tweeted he tweet he tweeted like a picture of, like someone pointing a gun mm -hmm. like uh, at me uh, on twitter and i was like see these are the type of mentally ill people steven sets on you yes. when yeah so i did that thing i did the whole drama queen thing and so uh yeah but we squashed that he's like a cool guy he's a beekeeper so we had a lot in common we got <laughs> to talk about that for a little bit so. wait do you actually do shit with bees or is that a meme I, yeah i used to be a beekeeper yeah that's um, so fucking random but okay interesting yeah I, well, well it was like um when i was kind of like falling off the uh tracks a little bit mm -hmm. when i was younger uh i didn't get on with my stepdad and, and obviously my dad was in prison so one of my uncles like took it upon himself to like kind of like you know be a mentor a bit for me and so he would give me like random fucking hobbies like whatever he was into mm -hmm. we would go and do it together and, and he had a beekeeping phase so i went and i was like a, i was like a beekeeper for like five five years or something interesting so. that's what a random thing to bond over huh mm. He was a super cool guy, my uncle Chris. Like, uh, really good man. Like, didn't have to take that on at all in his life. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, without without him, I would have I would have probably ended up like I don't know making some type of mistake you couldn't come back from when I was when I was young. Damn. So, but yeah, so Lycan, I was only sticking around for you. I'd say goodbye, Stephen, because I can tell by um, he really wants to get into this Factorio game and probably Richard, uh, you could sit here and just make this your own stream for the next no 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 fuck he would let chat, you chat to being nice to me for the first time in like five six years like usually whenever my name comes up in uh, around destiny it's like you yeah, need the bright part loser didn't he choke load of fuck him yeah, yeah. you know so it's like it's I nice to actually <laughs> yeah it is 
<laughs> man, I had, I had a hell of a life. Like, never let anyone fucking tell you anything. Like, I did some, I did some wild shit. Like, so it's all good. It's crazy uh, you popped up today because I'm packing my room for my move, and I was just holding my tickets from the the 2015 major in Columbus. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that was a good major. I thought that was really good. Yo, man, we had behind scenes, but the 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 one thing I'll say is that entire period, uh, 2015. Where I suddenly became like the biggest journalist to because of the I by Power story to um, twenty eighteen, where I because I was doing E League and I was on TBS, I was on television. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That period in esports that was actually good. It wasn't good, but it was like that was our peak, and you know met a lot of cool people and did a lot of cool stuff and columbus was definitely one of them and hanging out like we we had some drinks out there if i remember rightly yep, yeah uh, are you red eye all them yeah yeah we went to that fucking we went to that because it was in yeah we went to that big bar didn't we where it was like they had 200 different beers on top it's like house of beers or something oh shit. yeah man. Yeah, yeah, yeah you remember yeah. yep yeah that was that was where i uh i kissed that dude <laughs> okay. I don't some, remember that. <laughs> yeah, I kissed some dude because um, he was like saying, You're not bisexual. Uh, and you're just saying that to like, you know, deflect because you were at Bright Bar or something, you know? And I was like, I'm 100% definitely like into dudes and women. I like, will absolutely fucking prove it. Dude, that, you know ex I mean? that explains. Uh, there was, uh, yeah, you know, when I, I when I left, you gave me a kiss on the cheek, and I'm not bisexual, but that gave me tingles, man. Your little beard tis tickle my cheek and stuff. And yeah, was, well, I, I, that was also the sad news is, of course, in 2016, that was the last. That, that was the last crumb of sex appeal I had ended up on your face, basically, when I kissed Amazing. you. After that, I just became a fat, hideous chud. Like, just your typical games journalist dude. Like, balding prematurely, overweight, tries to offset his double chins with a beard, big, large glasses, you know, soy face, playing on my Nintendo Switch. Oh, speaking of that, dude, I'll, I'll talk about this before I go. Who would have thought that gross score would be a cuckold. Oh, shit. I was going to ask and, you if you'd heard about no, no, no. him. The second and? part of the sentence. And you know, the most mature I've ever heard grow score was when he was talking about cuckoldry. It it was the most serious and most mature he's ever been in his life. Yeah. Um, I was, you know, I was like, wow. No, because everyone was like mocking him. And I was like, this is going to be ridiculous. Like, lots of people were like messaging me going, you're never going to believe what Gross Gore said now. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Let's see. Like, you know, and, and it was like, he was going, now listen, lads, I have to let you know that, yes, sometimes when you're seeing your missus get railed by another man, it might hurt you. And I was like, holy shit, dude, he's really talking about it. It's not like just some, he's actually yeah, going into. It, it's hard. like he did. Yeah, it's like he was doing a video like, is Cook Aldry for you? <laughs> the yeah. gross girl guy. Like, it was wild, dude. He's been tweeting. He's on, I don't want to say he's on a downward spiral because of the Cook Aldry, but in general, his life seems a little bit wild after his uh, Twitch ban. Did you ever follow his Twitch ban? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I thought, um, I, I thought uh, if he hadn't messed with Riot Games to the degree he did, because it wasn't just stuff he said on Twitch and the fact that he's said about Crepo and all of that stuff. But he was also turning up to League of Legends events, drunk and making an ass of himself. I think it wasn't even that. It was actually one of the most tragic downfall stories in the history of all of downfall stories. I think okay. that what well, happened, because he'd done all that shit, but that was past him. He, he survived it somehow. But I think the issue, I, I genuinely think this is what happened. Somebody can tell me if I'm incorrect in the history here, but no, no, what genuinely for... happened was he decided to meme around because he got unbanned after all that weird sexual assault shit. He actually made it. After years back, he got back and he was climbing. Twisted Fate main. I think it was getting five-figure viewership on Twitch. And then this motherfucker, he posts an, a, a thread on the subreddit Roast Me. <laughs> And he posted that thread with a picture of himself, and the most upvoted comment was, oh, aren't you the guy that did? And then he lists, like, every fucking bad, disgusting thing he'd oh, ever been involved in. Oh, I do, dude. And that post was a that, headshot. Yeah. After that, he got fucking permaban on Twitch from a yeah. stupid fucking Reddit thread. And I think that was, like, his life was, like, over. Because he, it was so long. He worked so hard to finally get back on Twitch again. So for that to come out of nowhere and just, like, do him in was, like... Like, oh, man. And then I think he's been kind of on a downward spiral ever since. Yeah, I mean, dude, like, he must be, like, 30 now, right? So, Something like that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, people, 
I again like gro- gross score for me because I've t- I've talked to him, you know. Like mm-hmm. I I I think he was a guy that had like. He was one of those dudes you were talking about, you know, became a bit of a minor celebrity. He was turning up to parties. He was getting drunk. You know, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What proof? What proof? This is how we do things, bro. And he was being a bit too aggro and a bit too loud and a bit too full of himself. And he rubbed mm-hmm. a lot of people the wrong way. But I, I think, you know, like f- for me personally, like there was... Like, he, he did have some issues in terms of, like, I think he said he got treated for, like, ADHD and some other stuff. And, like, I don't know, people people weren't particularly empathetic to, to his shit at all. And um, I don't know. I, I think uh, he struggled a little bit with maybe, like, the relevance, like, falling off. Um, maybe, yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't say it's just the normal falling off relevance. I think it was the fact that all of his falling offs were usually, like, bands. <laughs> It was him getting yeah, banned true. over and over and shit, which probably fucked with true. his head, which I don't... Yeah. Uh, and, and look, man, also, uh, there, there was like, I mean, shit, like, you know, I, I think some of the things the internet did to him mm-hmm. were really, really fucking bad. They were really brutal. Yeah, for sure. You know, like, when, when you're calling social services to, like, go around and, like do a welfare check on on your child and like tell it you know you're contacting social services and telling lies about like the conditions of the house and stuff like this so mm-hmm. they go over it's like that it's the internet sometimes is so fucking beyond the fucking pale, pale man. Yeah, it's for like, sure. yeah it's hard to believe you know um super random thing uh mm-hmm. are you up on any of the <laughs> on any of the doctor disrespect stuff well, I mean, uh, we need to talk to Slasher about that, right? <laughs> no, um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what, which which part? Like, uh, you know, I'll, I, I, by the way, like, spoiler, I, I don't, uh, if, if I've missed something bad that's happened, mm-hmm. ignore this statement, but I've always been a fan of the Doc. Like, I always liked the Doc, so. Oh, gotcha. I was hoping for some huge, big leak, big reveal, but I guess you're just going to... Nah, nah, on. I mean, like, I, I heard the same shit that Slasher heard. Mm-hmm. There was, but it was impossible to determine, um, it was impossible to determine whether or not it was, d- mis- like, misinformation, maybe disinformation from Twitch to try and shake out some leakers. There was, there was, there weren't enough people confirming it to, to put it out. Okay. And it was just, and and so we 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 heard some like yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. okay okay hold on <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just saying we heard some like protracted version of events yeah, yeah. um and we were we, it was just like I don't know and in the end I mean nothing ever seemed to come of it mm-hmm. nothing ever there was no follow up so whatever you know gotcha gotcha well so but yeah uh, so like and uh, good luck with the move brother. Hey, thanks, man. It was good talking to you, dude. It was good to hear. Yeah, you. it's been too long, man. I, 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 am a, I am my own shit, you know, and um, I'm terrible at keeping in touch with people at the best of times. I ignore messages all the time. I'm an asshole like that. But um, you should, um, you know, when you get situated with the move, uh, just fucking, you know, hit me up more often. I'm going to, I'm I'm having a big sober content push this year. And um, so, yeah, just, uh, yeah, I'm, dude. I'm, I'm trying to occupy the time, so if you want to just hang out sometime, just hit me up. We'll do, man. Take it easy. All right. Yeah, and you, uh, Stephen, man, great to talk. I, I saw you. Did, did did you snort laughter there where I said sober? Um, I, I, you know, I don't. I, I don't mean full. Sorry, because you said you have like drug shit, so I shouldn't laugh. Yeah, no, 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 it's like I'm, I'm doing. Yeah, I'm not doing that whole like I found Jesus or whatever, and uh-huh. I, I'm 100 percent falling off the wagon in about 10 days because I got I got a party to go to. But like, I mean, I'm just talking about like not doing what I was doing, which mm-hmm. is just being wrecked all the fucking time. I'm talking about you know. Yeah, yeah, sure. So yeah, um, yeah, keep in touch. I'll I'll ping you next time. There's a opportunity to do so. It's good to hear your voice. I'm glad you're doing well. Mm-hmm. Uh, look after yourself. Love to the stream. Love to you and uh, we'll talk again soon yeah i love you buddy be careful okay all right man take care you too like him bye Thanks, buddy bro.